Napoli Ever After. And it is called Napoli Ever After. Cool. Interesting. Oh, I love her. I don't know what she's from that I know her from, but... Uh, uh. Ever since I was a kid, my hair was everything. Yep. I had to be fixed. Only then was I perfect. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Perfect. You're my go-to girl. Good job. Tonight is going to be the happiest moment of my life. What do you get the perfect woman? Meet Lola. Oh. She thought he was going to propose. You said I'm perfect. Oh, right. 24-7 perfection. You never let your hair down. You don't want you on the account. You can sponsor like six kids with the money you spend it for your hair. Excuse me? I apologize Uh. to my daughter. She knows better. Wow. (laughs) Just be yourself. Who would that be? The anal compulsive Miss Perfect cut or the not fun, never spontaneous weave? Well, personally, I really like the weave. (laughs) (laughs) I worked so hard to be perfect, and it still wasn't enough. Oh, God. Uh Oh. Nice. Is she doing it? For real? Yeah. She's really shaving her head. Is this the... Yeah, nice. Is this the climax of the film? I doubt it. No. She still looks beautiful. Right. She's still stunning. <laughs> She's having a Britney moment. This is just something you did on a whim. I think you've been building up to it. Yeah. You gotta own it, girl. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Where are you going? To dinner. What brother is born is a woman who's real. My dad won't let me perm my hair. You don't need to do that. <laughs> this craziness has got to stop. That's right. That's right. Nice. My hair was like a second job. Now I'm forced huh. to focus on myself. I wonder who I'll be. Nice. Yeah. Dig it. Netflix original. Hmm. September 21st. Very All soon. Right. Okay. All right. So um, I can already hear the moans of people, maybe white people. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Regarding this. I will say though um, that like this is probably going to hit hard for a lot of people. It's super, super important. It's very um, important. Yeah, and especially in the black community, um, there was a movie that came out that I think Chris Rock, Chris Rock produced, produced it. Yeah, and what was it called? Oh, Good Hair. Good Hair. Yeah. yeah. You gonna tell us a little bit? Oh no, yeah. I, it's it's basically dealing with this. I mean, and uh, the um, for um, women of color. Uh, hair is obviously a big thing and it goes <laughs> right. goes bad there's a big hole here i'm not gonna go into that but i mean there's a big whole history behind it and just that you know far-reaching ramifications that lead into today and mm-hmm. i think this is an interesting story just because like it's not one that we i guess mainstream doesn't really T- touch talk, on touch don't talk on. about and, and, that I mean, yeah. it's, it's more of like a you know in the black community yeah. kind of deal mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. like and there's a whole industry of uh, African American hair care products. Oh, like yeah. it's like a it's billion huge. dollar interest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and specifically uh, African American hair. Getting your hair flattened, like, or is that what they call it? I think they call it flattened. Flat iron or Flatten. Yeah. No, it's, it's a perm, is it not? It's yeah. It's it's like flattened, but I don't know exactly I what the what the name of it is. But it's very very um, expensive. It's like mm. they do like a chem. It's it's like a perm where they use chemicals and it costs like over a hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, they actually meant they touch on this a little bit in the second season of Glow, where the only black character I think in the show, mm-hmm. aside from her, her husband, mm-hmm. right. um, is offered to have her not even offered, kind of told by the director to have her hair um changed to right. white people hair quote Straight, unquote right. um yeah. and she's like you know i didn't i didn't agree to this and like you know don't touch me with that like crazy chemical stuff before mm-hmm. i've like sat and thought about this or whatever mm-hmm. yeah. um and so yeah I, it's interesting too like how they're doing this in that like it seems kind of comedic yeah like it's gonna be funny but also very dramatic mm-hmm. and then also mm-hmm. touching upon like a lot of like you know topics that yeah. identity politics sure. and how like just yeah for, obviously it's a huge issue in the black community for women in particular but just for women in general this 
idea that like your hair is so important and mm-hmm. um like i i mean obviously i'm not black so i can't really speak to the part about sure. getting your hair straightened and how expensive that is and how that's part of your identity but i can speak to the part of being a woman and having short hair and have and all the ramifications that right. come with that um my mom was like horrified <laughs> when i first cut my hair short um she and she grew up in the time of Twiggy, which where that was like really popular, but still she was horrified. And it was very much a, a something about gender identity for her. Sure. It was like she her first comment to me was something like, you look like a boy or something. Yeah. And um, it's just very interesting the way There's cultural identity right. behind right. it. Yeah. All and we're of... just like uh, our identity is so wrapped up in the way we look. And for women, it's wrapped up in our hair and people have so many different um kind of stereotypes about you as a person if you have short hair as a woman um and i i I can definitely identify with that Um, i I think too well i and there's also i think that that this movie's this movie's probably more about it and good hair touches on it there's a movement to like move back to just that natural yeah uh, beauty and 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 like the uh, celebrating like naturally uh curly black hair you know right. instead of having the right. stigma right see it's a, I, I i can i can at least partially identify in in the fact that uh hair is a big issue for native americans right right um it's a big so part of the culture a little, yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, maybe maybe a little bit of the opposite is in where they're they're not they're also you know have have been stigmatized and not allowed to wear their you know hair long mm-hmm. and things mm-hmm. like that you know mm-hmm. and that's a whole big cultural thing going back you know cutting the hair and mm-hmm. you know, boarding schools and things like that mm-hmm. so yeah. i mean it's 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 i think it's 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 a sort of a universal uh you know issue and Definitely. i think it's you know I, I think it's interesting that we're you know we're starting to see these sort of movies that are touching on these things you know these cultural things that aren't yeah. really you know discuss they're they're known about but they're not really discussed much you right know, right really i think it's of, easy to kind of like toss it aside too and say sure. yeah this isn't a big deal but sure. like it's a big deal to a lot of to people, a lot of people. Yeah. it is it's not just huge like you said yeah, not just not just african american no in that sense even though that's women, kind of what we're focusing Native on Americans, here yeah to japanese sure. culture too oh yeah like, yeah yeah it's it's huge in many different cultures and to many different people and so um it, and just the way we look and all the, you know, socialization, gender politics, identity politics, all of that is wrapped up in the way we look. Sure. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, yeah uh, I watch Napoli Ever After. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think I think I would give it a watch, honestly. Cause sure. Because I, I mean, I, th- I feel like it's not going to be like number one on my list, but um, I'm, I'm going to try. I really want to try and watch all these shows that are. Um, important shows with with people of color in them that are starring and, and right. most of the cast is that way like um um i didn't recognize you know, Atlanta a lot of this cast. and yeah um, i just recognized the girl yeah, yeah. I and mean, i think her mom i, I, I yeah. think her mom's somebody too, yeah so. yeah i really want to i really want to really go down the Atlanta's list and good. watch all Atlanta's those really all those shows i yes. want to watch insecure i want to watch um dear white people i want to watch all those right. like shows that are supposed yeah, to be actually, very dear very really good, good mm-hmm. yeah um, yeah, I, I'm more inclined to watch this just basically, but ba- based on the fact that it's Netflix. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, and they're making it easy I'm to like, they're making it easy to watch. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, yeah, I Q, but I think it's more along the lines Q, and you know, I, this isn't one I'm going to watch while I'm goofing around with my son or you know, just sure. things it's not in the background or so. Yeah, I want to sit, be able to sit down and like watch it. Yeah, I know there's a there's a I'm sure it's like a PG-13 or something, but is this something you would show your kid? This one. Yeah. Uh, if he was a, if if I had a girl, I have a little boy, so okay. I, okay. I, mean, I, I, I would maybe I, I don't know that this would hold his interest. Sure. He's yeah. Nine. Yeah. He's yeah. Nine. He's into Spider Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. No. Not, uh, not, not you know, when he gets older, petite, you know, probably. sure. Huh. You know, yeah. yeah I just, normal, interesting. Yeah. I think okay. it's more along the lines of t- attention span than like of consciousness, right? right? Conscience, right now. You know. Right. <laughs> of course. Of course. All right. Let's move into our next trailer. Uh, we got um, if. Bell, uh, Beale Street, Beale Street could, could talk. talk. Okay. I kind of like that All I right. know nothing uh, about these movies. Annapurna. Oh, I love her too. Yeah. Yeah, baby.
When I was growing up, I was trying to make a connection between the life I saw and the life I lived. Oh no. This is gonna ruin me. I can already there are tell. Days when you wonder what your role is in this country. And what your future is in it. This is one of them. in prison of course I'm sorry looks like it. I didn't mean none of that for you I love you you know that I do and I understand what you're going through because I'm with you the things that tormented me the most were the very things that connected me with all the people who were alive I'll tell you nice. a story. If I may. Wow. This fall. Mm-hmm. This is movie? Movie. Movie, I movie. think. Not not Netflix. I didn't see Netflix anywhere. That I think is how you make a trailer. Yeah, no kidding. Um, and it looks so pretty. Can I just say like the cinematography? It's, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. If yeah. you watch Moonlight, yeah. It's I was gonna say so beautiful. The cinematography is like uh it's one of the most beautiful movies. Not just that, like the audio design of that trailer was so well done. Yeah. Um, I'm like kind of blown away by by how yeah, how good, good that trailer yeah. was. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, clearly about kind of it's, it's I'm I am assuming it's following this girl and her relationship with this man sure. who's obviously ended up in trouble. Um, based on a book. Based on a, yeah, this is based on a book. It looks like it's in New York. I think so. Yeah. Looks like yeah. it. Yeah. Could be, I, did could they, be did Chicago they say, or New York. Oh, right, right. I, I thought so, I thought I heard New York. Or I thought I heard somebody say something about it. Maybe Let's not. See, uh, New York. New, New York. York. Okay. Yeah. Big cool. city. Um, it looks like it already premiered at Toronto Film Festival. Mm-hmm. I don't know okay. how, how it did there, but um, yeah. Who's? Uh, oh, yeah. And so we already know who wrote and directed it. So there you go. Yeah. That's saying a lot already. <laughs> oh, my God. Barry Jenkins, man. You're... Why do you always have to ruin me? <laughs> yeah. Why do you have to do that to me? Did uh, Barry Jenkins come out of nowhere when Moonlight got big? Or was this uh, was this a long time coming for him, you know? Um, no. It looks like Moonlight was his He's... second. Um, it wasn't his directorial debut, but it was his second movie. His first one was Medicine for Melancholy, uh, huh. which it looks like it was also nominated. He had a lot of accolades going, going for that, too. So... Um, clearly we're going to be hearing more from this, this guy Cool. Yep. as time goes on. He didn't, oh, okay. He wrote the screen. Did he write the, cause, uh, 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 Moonlight is based on a play. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, did, he didn't write the play though, Mm-mm. but he wrote the screenplay. Yeah. For it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Okay. It wasn't, it was a different thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause I was like screenwriter. Wait a minute. And I was like, oh, okay. Right, right, right. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh. D- d- was there much else to kind of take away from that? Obviously. No, also, it's I, about her relationship with her mother I, too. I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Since we're doing this right now, I'm gonna put it on rent, just because I'm gonna need a little more. Yeah. There's. An, there good. wasn't a ton. Yeah. Yeah. But I. It was I, almost an artsy trailer. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I, so I need. I need a little more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just because. It, it said it was a teaser too, so sure. we'll probably yeah. see something with a little more plot. Yeah. Okay. In the future. Okay. I, uh, I will probably go with my friend and see this because it looks like it's going to be important. If it's anything like Moonlight, it's going to be important. Okay. Um, and it's probably going to be Oscar bait. So yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. I kind of yeah. want to see where they're going with that. Yeah. If it's, mm-hmm. the, if so, it's, yeah. I think I think I will go with my friend to go see this. Yeah. Um, and this didn't look like it was uh, modern America. No. Right? No. no it was yeah. Period. Yeah. Fif- 
No, 60s? 70s, 60s, 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 60s. Okay. all right. We're all yeah. guessing here. That but late, well, I'm just saying, late '60s was like the height of like racial tensions and right. all of that. Yeah, so and that's what the man. kind of the narrator was saying kind of, throughout yeah, the video. Bit, yeah, yeah. So I don't. I, but I mean, that's just speculative. So yeah. sure, sure. And it looks like it kind of deals with a lot of the same issues that Moonlight dealt with, um, like in terms of um, just the marginalization, marginalization, and the way um, that you know the the prison industrial complex and how it is mostly made up of black men right. and um just the plight of of black men and how they have to just all the politics behind it is just so yeah and you're seeing it her for, from her perspective too so yeah yeah this is super interesting um i'm, I'm intrigued to say the least this i think this was how you should make trailers or at least teaser trailers. Uh, clearly not a ton of plot, but right. Um, That's great. a good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. see. We'll see what comes of this uh, sure. the, uh, with the next trailer. But let's move on to our next trailer here on Screen Source. Um, to Forever. This is a trailer for season one. Forever, I just heard about TV this. Show. So cool. let's see what this is. Is that Amazon Prime? Yeah. Okay. I like it already. <laughs> Armisen and Rudolph. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aww, that's like me. <laughs> when I bowl, I always do cutter balls like every other time. Yeah. Or not happen. Uh oh. Oh. Wow. Interesting. Remember the time we were here and we saw all those butterflies? Oh, yeah, that was really cool. Where do you think they were all going? <laughs> Probably the Grand Canyon. That's where I would go if I could fly. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. All right. I, yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I really like the progression of that trailer. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, because you knew something had to happen and I didn't just think what was going to happen was right. that they're getting bored with their marriage right, right. <laughs> and it's called forever. Yeah. 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 No, I, I, I was like, uh, it, it it sort of had the it sort of had the vibe of the previous one, is in just kind of just giving you the the, the, ba like, the very basics yeah, maybe yeah, yeah yeah but uh but yeah no I I I did like I did yeah. like the progression that was really good yeah you, you, I'm assuming you guys are fans of my Rudolph uh, oh, for yeah. Emerson big time, big time. yeah yeah Both it's them, gonna yeah. be fun to see them together playing a couple I think oh, it's yeah. interesting I think it's very interesting getting it's, old that's, together it's a good it's uh, mm -hmm. a good pair yeah yeah, yeah. they're yeah. both really hysterical yeah. right right but they both kind of have that sort of deadpan. Yeah. Right. Thing down. I think I it's think, gonna be interesting. I wonder how far in it might be. Like first episode. I, I I have a feeling very soon into this into the season we're gonna see the them into this phase of the uh, this forever. I hate right. this. Right. 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 Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of those ones. I'm, I I I might have to see a little more. Sure. I'll queue it up. Yeah. Is it, it's Prime, right? Okay. Yeah. Amazon yeah. Amazon Prime. Prime yeah. Uh, looks like they're pushing Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Uh, at the end of that. Nice. Yeah. Is that coming back soon? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Mm, mm. I have to look that one up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Season two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Season one's pretty cool. It's really good. Uh, yeah, forever. I'm glad uh, that it Prime 2 is getting more sure. shows like this. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Cause there's cause there's a lot of people have of Prime. good stuff. Uh, 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 Mozart in the Jungle is good. Or Mozart in the yeah. yeah. Oh, I haven't watched That's that. That's really good. One. I've heard it's good things really good. about it. Um, I my, my really want to watch it. that. And it's, it is really good. My buddy's really into tick. If also. you're, if you're, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think if you're, if it was uh, something completely different, but uh, Gael Garcia Bernal. Mm. If, you're, if you're a fan of him, that's watch the show. Okay. Oh, I love all over him. That. Yeah. So that well. would be great. All right. Now it's just forever. Just it's forever. Uh, let's move on to our last trailer the of the evening. It is called Pokemon the Movie. 
the power of us. This sounds yeah. em- sounds empowering. Adorable. Yeah. Adorable. Oh, it's a teaser. This is a town where people live in harmony nice. with the wind. <gasps> Once a year, <gasps> we make a promise with Lugia to keep the wind blowing. Come on. Uh, <laughs> you want me to catch a Pokemon? You'll be the best big sister ever. <sighs> I don't know anything about Pokemon. <laughs> <sighs> it's no use. Why don't you go and find somebody else to bother? Mm-hmm. Did I dream that? At the time, we still didn't know <laughs> that our meeting wasn't just a coincidence. <laughs> Everybody! Hang on! Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Ah! Huh. What are you trying so hard for? We've all got Pokemon <laughs> on our side. <laughs> Pokemon okay. the movie. The power of us. Mm. <laughs> Some things I can't do alone. But together? Huh. Well, that looks right. adorable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is this? I'm a little embarrassed that I know all of the names of all of those Pokemon. <laughs> nice. And it's only because I obsessively play Pokemon Go. You do obsessively nice. play um, Pokemon Go. So that's a problem. But anyway. <laughs> um, I, I, uh, so this is uh, the, I think, millionth Pokemon movie in the <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> series. Yes. So is this, many is of them. It, uh, there's a million of them. Is this, um, a, is this like a re? Is this picking up from somewhere? Or are we okay? So going? actually, if we're being real here, it's the Sorry, 21st movie, um, and the second film in the rebooted anime film series. And oh, by okay. that, I believe okay. they're saying that because Pokemon the movie I Choose You came out, I believe last year. Went and saw it with my buddy Orion. We cried, held hands. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And so it's a sequel to that. Uh, um, is that the one? That, okay. Is that the one where? Oh yeah, yeah. So there's uh, there's some there's That's yeah. What I was confused with. Yeah, let me uh yeah, let me spoil the first one a little bit. Uh, uh there is a big controversy over the fact that Pikachu talks. Right. Um which uh yeah, I guess I could get for the hardcore fans that that it would make them mad. I mean, right. like yes. there are some Pokémon that do Meowth, obviously. There's like a weird He's like the only one He's though. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh. But but I mean, he talks for like a second um yeah. and it's actually it feels a lot like the very first movie. Because okay. Ash kind of dies, turns to stone uh, to right. some effect, right. um, like in the first movie. Uh, and then Pikachu cries, his tears come out, and then, you know, it was the power of love that brings Ash back alive. No, right. oh, that's okay. so sweet. And the interesting thing about the, the last movie was that um, it was kind of an amalgam of, like, like first several seasons of pokemon and mm-hmm. some of the stories all put together okay yeah. um and, yeah the, so do you think this is more of that i think that this is i don't know that this is an amalgam of of more stories okay. um put together like the first one was right, right. um it looks like there's already some critical reception for this Uh-oh. film it's probably um it's probably been released. It looks like uh, probably overseas. Yeah, yeah overseas. Uh, there's going to be a limited theatrical run worldwide. Uh, November. I will be going okay. to that. Probably it'll probably come out here for a couple of weekends. It's going to be on Thanksgiving. So. <clears throat> oh, nice. Very cool. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's kind of picking off where that left off. It's mm. still the oh, and I just I just realized too the first movie um, dealt with a second generation legendary bird Ho Oh. And this second movie is going to deal with Lugia, which is kind of the the counterpart to that. If you Very cool. know anything about how like the games are released, they're <laughs> usually released in in like a set. Yeah. So there's like two legendary Pokemon to kind of focus on, or not even necessarily leg- mm-hmm. legendary, but like you know, the first set was um, Charizard or the red version oh, right, or the right. blue version, mm-hmm. and then they released like the yellow version. There was a green version there somewhere. Uh, maybe that was just coming later on. But anyways, your nerd is showing. It's showing. <laughs> yeah, I know where, where. Um, but but you can see that they're focusing on some of still of the earlier generations, the first yeah. two, maybe maybe three. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they're going to as these 
reboot of the series kind uh-huh. of continue on, we're probably going to see more of the further generations. I can't even. Cool. I think we're on seven. Oh um, somebody's yeah, going right. to tell me in the comments below. I'm right. sure. Yeah. Um, but with all that aside, I will say it looks gorgeous. Yeah, the animation looks beautiful. The animation is yeah. so good. Um, it reminded me a little bit of like. Um, is that? Is, the, is, do you guys have an eye for anime? Is that? Is it all just comp- I, it's all I, computer I, now? I don't have an eye for anime, and I'm I assuming don't. it's mostly computer based. But it I will like say, it, yeah. from the little that I do know, it, it looked a little bit like the movie Your Name, which we're big fans of. Oh yeah. That also, wonderful. check out Netflix. I think they're releasing uh, the same studio that released Your Name and Writer. Um, is uh, there's a new show coming out? Um, so cool. if you're a fan of that. Uh, it'll be on Netflix within the next month yeah. or something sure. like the that. The Japanese name is Kimi no Nawa. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. the, the, the um, your name. Nice. But it's really good. Very good yeah. film. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, I oh, and I also noticed too that they were focusing a lot on Eevee, which hasn't been a huge thing in the past. But they're releasing two Pokemon games coming out soon, which is focusing on Pikachu and Eevee. What do they call it? Mm-hmm. Like, okay. Let's go Pikachu, let's go something Eevee like or something, something like, like that. that yeah. yeah, the new uh, Switch games, which look amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so they're pushing it, I can tell. Mm. Like, hey, Eevee's yeah. a character. And it's kind of funny because the next community day on Pokemon Go is Eevee Day. Eevee Day? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Where you're going to be able to get, like, People are going to be getting know, all of them. Everything. Cool. It's yeah. actually next weekend, the 11th and 12th of August. Fun, wow. fun. Maybe that'll be my what I do on my birthday. Uh-huh. I don't know. Uh, okay, very cool. So that was uh, Pokemon the movie, The Power of Us. Go check it out if yeah, you're interested. Sure. I'll, probably, I'll probably, like, you know rent or it, it'll be fine you're if only you gonna have go. a couple of days to see it in theater I so mean, right yeah go, I'm, I'm not I'll gonna go. I, I, I already know i'm not gonna see it in theaters sure so, sure yeah. is your son gonna drag you your son into pokemon no, well not 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 enough okay for, for the limited if it was out out yeah, uh, but, yeah but like to 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 for limited release in a, a limited it's like window a, it's like that's, two that's, two well. two times in two different days yeah or you something. might as well yeah I, 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 i'm pretty sure i won't be able to make that like, sure so, sure sure yeah if it was just if it was out and it was out in theaters and well maybe maybe we'd go see it yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know why they're doing it maybe they just don't have enough funding enough money no they did they did something oh they i'm well, pretty they, sure a lot of the original ones came out like straight to dvd also so I, think, I don't know i think when they do this it has something to do with their the north american rights not being hmm. like like set or okay. like are there still some issues so sure. they do they do like these little limited okay things so yeah. all right that's just I, one of those deals. i think i'll go with my movie pass like that's fine there you and go. by the way movie pass is kind of it's going on its downhill. way out, man. It's, oh, man. it's very sad. It's going downhill. Don't don't leave me. I need you for no. well for fifteen a month now. They just up the price. Ugh. I mean, it's still kind of worth it. Fifteen is not bad. No, um, it's not. You know, but if you keep putting restrictions, it's like um, I'm out of here. Right. You know. Anyways, mm. that has been Screen Source episode forty three. We did it. Thank you very much to our we producer Hector. Uh, who's like job. fairly new and he did Thank this. Thank you, Hector. You would, you did amazing and you're like yeah. super Good knowledge episode. about all this stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I appreciate the fact checking. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Love, um, we love it's facts. nice to have somebody that knows film a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, if, you, if you're watching, Allison, we really appreciate you watching. Come see us. Really awesome. Yeah, and uh, uh, thank you, Bridget, um, slash yeah. Ewok yeah. for being here. Um, Stan, Jess, my name is Dylan. Please like, share, subscribe, follow all of the verbs. Follow us on our Twitch channel, too. Um, what else? Oh, we just uh, released our Patreon. I should be plugging that thing more often. Patreon.com slash Color Circuit Live. We just got our first patron. Uh, we're very happy about it. All the tiers, all the goals we're looking for. Uh, you'll be seeing more of these guys. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so if it's annoying, let us know. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. Twitter. Oh, on, it is annoying. We'll be at Twitter <laughs> at CLR Circuit Live, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye bye.